in and take that rubber, that old rubber out. Take them out? Yeah, you gotta break it out of there. Alright, look here. <clears throat> This is our 1955 Buick battery box. Now, back then, the batteries were skinny and long, okay? You see what I'm saying? They're, they weren't fat and short, bud. So, uh, you get the fucking idea here. If you look right here, can you see that, Charlie, how rough it is? And Okay, you can't buy a brand new battery insert. This one's still as solid as a rock steel, okay? But he doesn't like the way that looks. Are you catching me on that, Charlie? Yep. Yeah. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you... What I'm trying to tell you is he doesn't like the way where the acid and the battery that even though there's a battery and it's going to be all covered and you'll never fucking see it in the whole wide fucking world tomorrow, the next day, yesterday, last year, whenever he still doesn't fucking like it, bud. But he doesn't want to replace the metal. The only other thing we can do, the only other option is to fill this in, okay, with two different types of filler. You can get a, you can get a chemical called Evercoat Feather Fill. Now what that is is it's a very very super thick type of a primer and you use a fiberglass resin hardener not resin but the hardener to mix it with instead of bondo hardener okay and what that does is that means you got about seven to eight minutes to spray it you better get yourself an old junky ass okay throw away fucking spray gun to do it with but once you spray that in there if you do it right and the weather temperature is proper it's too hot right now because the shit would dry so fast it, would, it wouldn't have time to flow out. So we'd end up sanding it anyway. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit's only good in 60 degree or 50 degree or 40 degree weather. So it'll dry proper and then it'll flow out and you know level itself out. In this type of weather, it'd probably dry in 10 minutes and it would look just like that. And we'd have to go in there and that shit's hard as a fucking rock. I, that's another reason I don't like using it because it doesn't have no flex, okay? Okay, that's one way. The other way is you take Bondo and Evercoat, okay, Evercoat uh, polyurethane, polyester fucking filler. You go ahead and mix those together. See, now it's real hot out. I don't want to use, that's probably too much freaking hardener. I shouldn't have used that much hardener. Matter of fact, let me see if I can go ahead and give them a little bit of that out of there, Charlie. Okay, that's better. Okay, we'll uh, throw that away. So, it's real hot out, so I'm not going to use a lot of hardener. See, that depends. That's that's what it's like mixing Bondo. Okay, what are you doing, Charlie? I'm down here. Okay, why you always, every time I look at you and talk, you don't have to. Follow my hands, but always remember the, the rule of thumb. So, I usually have rubber gloves on, but right now I don't. Uh, Charlie, you might have to hold the camera up here. Can you see it? Yep. Okay, see how flexible that camera is, bud? You didn't even know it, did you? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. So I'm going to come in here and fill all that in, see? You see what I'm doing, Charlie? Yep. Yeah. Because that's the only way to please the guy, see? There's nothing else I can do. I mean, you know, it's either this or live with it. Uh, if it was my car, I would probably live with it, Charlie. What about you? Yeah, I think I'd do it. That's just the way. That, you know, this is just too deep. This is like the extreme, I mean, shh. This is one in a thousand, you know, a hundred thousand fucking guys that's gonna do this shit. So, what I'll do, this is, I guess I'm just gonna have to rough a coat in here. Look at that, you're gonna have a lot of sand on your hands, Charlie. Shh. Wow. Can you see what I'm doing, Charlie? Yeah. It's ridiculous, ain't it? <laughs> but, you know what, it gives you something to do where I don't have to send you home. Yeah. And that's really what counts here, doesn't it? Yeah. And you're not working out in the sun, fucking sweating your ass off. <laughs> and you got a fan behind you to keep you nice and cool. Yeah. So what the fuck are you complaining about working here for? Exactly. You're not. Right? Oh, you are? No. You're not. So I'm going to rub that in. I'm going to float it in. 
There it goes. See now? Now we're starting to get somewhere, see? And I don't want to leave a lot in that groove right there. I don't want to... That's going to be a pain to sand that out. And on this wall right here, uh, that must have been where acid was or something. Or Charlie didn't sand it all the way. I don't know. Go ahead and put a little bit right there. And I think when we sand this down, you're going to really see a nice difference, but You know what I'm saying, Charlie? It's going to take a while to get sanded, but I think you can do it. See how I'm doing that? I'm helping you by cleaning all this out. See, doing Bondo is like an art, okay? It's like a clay molder, bud. You gotta know what you're doing. Okay, you can't just throw it on there, see? So, look at here, look what's going on over here. Now, how long has this been? 30 Good seconds? Minutes. Look at that. <laughs> and I took some of the hardener out. So, you can see what's happening here, bud. Okay, while that's uh, drying, Charlie's gonna go ahead and put the camera down because uh, we got a few places we gotta go over on this. If you look right here, you can see some black in it, see? I told you I wanted it looking gray, Charlie. See how black that looks, see the... Yeah, we need to get rid of all that, bud. It's got to be gone, dude. I'm telling you now, this guy is a picky bastard. Matter of fact, let me show you something, bud. Come here. Come on. The only person that Arthur likes to sand his cars the only person, this is no shit. Open the door. Open the door. Okay, Minnie isn't gonna talk to us. The only person that Arthur likes to sand his cars is Minnie, okay? She thinks I'm gonna cuss her out and holler at her. But now she's leaving, see? She's leaving us. Wow. Why is she leaving? I don't understand. What the fuck, man? Well, there you go. So the only person that actually uh, sands Arthur's cars, okay, is Minnie. But Minnie doesn't work here no more full time, so she can't do it. So you better do a good fucking job, Charlie. Okay. Do you understand the situation here? Look here, bud. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I think you can too, so uh, let's let that dry. I want you to go ahead and sand this down. You know, go around it, because we got to still prime this thing and re-sand it, bud. Okay. And you didn't follow my fucking hands. You're looking over there. See, look with the camera, not your eyes, Charlie. Okay, now I'm going to do that one more time. So, see, you still got to go over this car. You got all this black... You finally moved it over there. Great. You got the idea. Let's get that camera action a little better, Charlie, okay? Did you see my hand? Okay. All right, part-timer. I mean, uh, Charlie, put the camera away. Let's go.